Hello, my brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. Today, we'll be learning all about the consonant letter V sound, V and vultures. By reading V is for vulture. Illustrated by Kate Slater, read and adapted by Miss Coralie. V is for v, v, vulture. There are lots of different types of vultures: the Rupel's griffin vulture, the palm nut vulture, the Indian condor, the king vulture, and the black vulture. V is for v, v, very. The Indian condor is very large, larger than any other flying bird. Look how big the Indian condor is in comparison with all the other birds shown in this picture. It's bigger than the ring-necked parakeet, the northern cardinal, the calliope hummingbird, and even the red kite. Don't confuse the red kite with eagles. While they do both belong in the same family, but they are two different birds. V is for v, v, vertebrate. A vulture has a backbone. Let's take a look at the diagram. The author used labels to indicate the different body parts of a vulture. There's the beak, the neck, the backbone, the wings, the legs, and those sharp talons. V is for v, v, view. Vultures fly high in the sky. V is for v, v, vision. They have amazing vision to spot their food. Hmm, what other bird do you know that has superb vision? V is for v, v. Valuable. Vultures eat meat, which stops diseases from spreading. V is for v, v, vulnerable. Vultures need to be protected, or they may die out, like the bearded vulture. V is for v, v, vet. Vets help sick vultures get better. V is for v, v, vault. A group of vultures is called a vault, a venue, or a flock. The end. In this book, the author wrote, "V is for vertebrate. A vulture has a backbone." By looking at the context, what do you think the word vertebrate means? Let's take a minute to think about it. Pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye.